Hi everybody, uh, welcome back to part two of the checkerboard and today I'm going to show you how I draw, this will be a really quick video, today I'm going to show you how I draw the um, pinwheel design that's at the top edge of that uh, checkerboard that I was painting last time and it's done with a ruler and a compass and so again I'm on my own so I'm going to put on my glasses and I'm going to adjust my camera so that you can see what I'm doing. Let me try and not put my hand in front of it like last time. There we go. Alrighty. So I have drawn an X. I found the center of the game board this way and I found the center of the game board this way and I have a compass, just a regular old compass and I'm going to put my pinpoint right here and I'm going to measure in because how I want my circle to be. I've already measured how I want my how big I want my circle to be. So this is just going to go all the way around like that. So it's like a, kind of like a bullseye. And now I'm going to start doing the little pinwheel designs. So I'm going to put my pencil on the points of this pinwheel design. And I go like this. I did not change the setting on my compass. And there you go. So there's one pencil on that spot. Two. And then you move it up. And you can do the other side. And then pencil on this point. Pencil on this point. And I need to give myself some. And then the last one on this part. And go back and do it that way. I'm also going to have some of these little petals coming out this way. So you can either measure, I've got a really long ruler here, and find the middle between those two points, which it looks like two and a half. So one and a quarter would be right up the middle. And again, between these two points. I need to do it this way so I can see my mark. One and a quarter. And again, I'm glad I did well in geometry. One and a quarter. I stunk at algebra, but I could do geometry. And they said, that's impossible, Candy. You can't do one without the other. Well, guess what? I am just so weird. I can do some things that you shouldn't be able to do and some things that you should be able to do I can't do. So then I've got my other four points with the ruler and I'm just going to take, and again I've not changed my setting on my compass and I'm just going to go like that. Try not to block your view there. Like that. Like that. And that, there's that one. I call this a dahlia. I don't know what it's called, but you'll see this in Pennsylvania a lot on the German farms out there. They'll make these what they call hex signs. And I've actually looked into that and I've seen something else that I like better. They're called uh, barn blessings. I like the sound of that better than a hex sign. And basically they painted these symbols on a on a barn and they meant different things like and the colors meant things like white means purity if there's a unicorn it means uh, virtue and I'm just gonna erase those lines that go down the middle and then I'm gonna paint them and these this flower this little dahlia is going to be red and black to match the checkerboard so there's only three colors on this checkerboard. And of course I'll have to do this on the other end. But um, there we go. 
So now all I need is red paint and black paint. Let me get that out real quick. This is that lovely barn red color. Actually, I set my game board on my palette. I need to get it off. There we go. Get out my, my messy palette here again, and I'll put a little red in. And I use, let's see, which brush am I going to use? The red, I usually have to do two coats because it's just too sheer. But I'm going to do the red. You always do your lightest colors first. So I'm going to do the red first. And you just fill in these lovely little flower petals. And if you have good brushes, your brushes will do the work for you a lot of times. This is very similar to, um, I'm going to turn the board a little bit here. These are like toll painting brushes. And then when sometime I'll show you how I do my... Um, my Mariner's Compass boards because that Mariner's Compass star is my favorite design of all to paint and I've got that design on a big floor cloth downstairs in the bottom floor of my shop that I painted over 20 years ago got a big Mariner's Compass on it and I just love to paint that design. So again, if you, and if you're in uh, Europe, you might have seen these designs in Germany, Poland, maybe parts of uh, Eastern Europe. And I'm gonna give that a second coat. And it's already drying, because like I said, these are acrylic paints. and they dry really fast. And red, if you've seen pictures of my store, this is the color of my shop. This is my favorite color. I am a, always have been a big fan of red. I don't know what that says about my personality, but it probably says something. Maybe I don't want to know. Uh, and that's okay that I did that in the middle because it's going to get a little black dot in the center. All right, red is done. Now, on to black. And my black paint is a little thicker than the red. So I'm going to add a little water to it and thin it down just a little bit so that my, my brush strokes go a little better with the black. As I've told you, this, um, this board has a little bit of of a rough surface to it. It's a pine board. This is a solid pine board. Got a water drop right there. And this reminds me of Bob Ross. They make a happy little tree over here in the corner. I'm going to take our happy little black. I don't think you would really describe black as a happy color. We're going to take our serious black. Oh gosh, that's a name out of Harry Potter. Ah, never just thought of that. Okay, serious black. There we go. And this one, black, is so opaque. 
I will only need to do one coat. And you'll see that this just really pops. And then with that same black, I will go around the circle and outline my little circle there. I've got to do two more designs on this board that are actually more complicated than anything, and that's these two arrows that go on either side. I'm a little nervous about doing those on film. But again, if you have, don't go, if you're going to do this, don't buy cheap paintbrushes. Um, you know, like those little ones. These aren't real bad expensive, but I go through a lot of them because I paint a lot. But don't buy those, don't use those cheap ones that you can get in the craft department that look like they come with kids' sets of watercolors. You don't want that. And I heard someone downstairs, and it might be Hubby. We'll find out if it's somebody that yells for me. Then we'll know. So now I'm going to add a little more water because I want this to be liquidy. So I have a nice, and hopefully I won't go back over my, but you'll see where I'm, going around my circle. And I kind of have to be a contortionist when I do this. I think that's hubby downstairs making noise. He doesn't know I'm filming. Here he comes clumping up the stairs. Hello, I'm filming. You're on candid camera. Oh yeah? Oh, yeah? Okay, I'm going to turn it just a little bit, and you'll be able to see. Like I said, i got to be a contortionist when I do this, and I'm almost done with my circle. And I do it in sections. Right now my board is wet, so I don't have a place to rest my finger. That's why I am struggling a little bit. There you go. Then I take the end of my brush. There he goes clumping back down the stairs. I take the end of my brush and dab it in my paint. Get a bunch on my paint. And then I can make a perfect little center. And that's that. So 14 minutes. Yay! So that is... And get my big hand out of the way again. That's just a quick, quick method that I use to put on my game boards. I'll have to do that on the other end. So um, let me see if I can do this without. Let me hold it by the stand. So, and there's the dog. So see, I've still got to do it up at this end. Can you say hi, Ginger? 
That's my little Jack Russell. That's Ginger. She's very old. And she go, yeah, you're going to do something embarrassing right on tape. Okay, there we go. That's, thank you for that, Ginger. You're never going to be on tape again. Okay, everybody. Well, thanks for watching and <laughs> hope you enjoyed that. And uh, if I knew how to edit, I would take out that last um, X-rated dog part. But, oh, well, that's what dogs do. So, anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching. Bye.